My name is Dr. Fuller. I would like to introduce you to the mathematical world around you. Probability is an exciting area of mathematics that allows us to make predictions based on information. The word probability means the possibility of an event happening. In probability, an event is a specific outcome, such as rolling a die and landing on a certain number, or a team winning a game. Outcomes are all the possible things that may occur. Probability is represented as a number between 0 and 1, though we often use percentages to express it. Here, Random. Come here, girl. Who's a good girl? My dog Random loves probability. She will help me make simple probability make sense. When an event has a probability of zero or a zero percent chance of occurring, we say the event is impossible. Random never turns down a belly rub. This event has a probability of zero and is impossible. An event with a probability of one is said to be certain. Random wanting a bite of cheeseburger is certain and has a probability of one. This event is always going to happen. When something has the same chance of occurring and not occurring, we say the event is neither likely nor unlikely to happen, and it has a probability of around five-tenths or one-half. Half of the time, Random likes to go out the front door. Random choosing to go outside through the front door has a probability of five-tenths and is neither likely nor unlikely to happen. When events have the same probability, we say the events are equally likely. Since Random goes out the front door half of the time, the other half she likes to go out the back. Since the probability of random leaving by either door is 50%, the events have the same probability of occurring and are said to be equally likely to occur. An event is likely to occur if the probability is greater than 5 tenths and closer to 1. Random loves to go for walkies but sometimes she is lazy. I can say it is likely that Random will want to go for a walkie because most of the time she wants to go. Unlikely events have probabilities less than 50% and are close to zero. Random does not bark very often. In fact, she barks less than once per day. The probability of Random barking during any hour of the day is unlikely because there is a low chance of it happening at all. There are two types of probability, theoretical and experimental. Both are ratios and are calculated similarly. First, theoretical probability is based on the possible outcomes. It is generally thought to be what is expected based on the possibilities. Random has three toys, Bear, Bunny, and Her Ball. She selects a toy randomly. The theoretical probability of her selecting Bear is 1 over 3 because there is one toy we are paying attention to and three possible outcomes. Random always chooses between turning right or going straight when we leave home on our walkies. What is the theoretical probability of her turning right on today's walkie? Because there is one event we are paying attention to and two possible outcomes, the theoretical probability of random turning right is 1 over 2, or 5 tenths. 
On the other hand, experimental probability requires an experiment and is based on the results of that experiment. I recorded the direction we turned when we left home over the past 20 days. Random decided to turn right 12 days. We can calculate the experimental probability by creating a ratio between the number of times the event occurred and the total number of observations. In this case, the ratio of 12 occurrences to 20 observations is the decimal 6 tenths. This means the probability was 6 tenths or 60%. Notice how the experimental probability is different from the theoretical probability. Theoretical probability represents what we expect to happen as the result of a large number of trials. After thousands or millions of trials, we expect the experimental probability to get close to the theoretical probability if things happen randomly. Over 50 times playing with randoms, three toys, she selected Bear 15 times, Bunny 22 times, and her ball 13 times. What is the experimental probability for random selecting each of her toys? Begin by creating a ratio between the number of times she selected the bear and the total number of observations. The ratio is 15 over 50, and the experimental probability is 3 tenths, or 30%. Next, the bunny was selected 22 times to give the ratio 22 over 50 or a probability of 44 hundredths. Finally, for her ball, the ratio is 13 over 50. The experimental probability is 26 hundredths, or 26%. Notice that the sum of all the probabilities is 1, or 100%. Remember that 1 represents a certain event. Since one of the three outcomes will happen when random selects a toy, the probability is certain. Random will choose one of her three toys when she selects a toy to play with. She has no other choice. A sum of one always occurs when we add up the probabilities of all unique possible outcomes. In my mathematical world, I have one little problem. The neighborhood cats love to tease random. A cat hides in one of five spots waiting for random to go on her walkie. What is the theoretical probability that the cat randomly selects the rock to hide behind? Random loves to chase the cats even though she is too slow to catch up. A cat gracefully runs among a group of six flowers. Random bulldozes through one of the flowers. What is the theoretical probability that she destroys an orange flower if there are two? After observing the cats in the yard, I noticed the following. Six times an orange cat hid in a bush near the front door. Seven times I saw a large black cat in the driveway. Two times an orange cat played under a tree. Finally, five times no cat appeared in the yard. Based on this information, what is the experimental probability of a cat being in the yard? What is the experimental probability of that cat being orange. Earlier, we determined the theoretical probability for random turning right at the start of our walkie to be 5 tenths, 1 half, or 50 percent. Based on this information, how many times might you guess random would turn right in 100 days?
I recorded the direction Random chose for her afternoon walkie for 100 days. Random turned right 15 times. Why might there be a difference between your predicted value and the actual value? Take a look and you will see a mathematical world around you filled with probability. Probability is used in many areas of work to make informed and accurate decisions regarding events that may or may not occur. Scientists use probability called confidence values to determine how sure the results of an experiment occurred because of the experiment and not by random chance. People in business use probability models to predict every aspect of consumer behavior, from our births, our potential lifespan, our earning and spending potential, and the amount of debt we can have to maximize profits. Meow. And, of course, we hear about the probability of precipitation on the daily weather forecast. Probability is a powerful tool that allows us to make predictions about many things in the world around us. Thank you.